What's going on everybody, it's boy Edge0626 bringing you some more Star Wars Battlefront Sabotage gameplay in the Administrator's Palace on the Bespin DLC. And well, my topic t for today's video involves, it, I'm, I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, how does single player or campaign or story mode type game modes, like how do they help or how do they like, help yeah how do they help games like some franchises and games and such and like and how they're like kind of needed in some cases <clears throat> and so when i when i say this one of the first you know one of the first games i think about is black ops 1 because black ops 1 not only had a fantastic story mode or campaign um it had a very it had probably one of the best multiplayers <clears throat> excuse me, of all time, and uh, to me anyway it did, it also had, you know, it also had the, the zombies mode, which is the co-op, so I think, and the reason I say, like, the reason I list all that off is because I think the more options that players have in the game, the better, but that's just strictly my opinion, um, like, I think, I think story mode is kind of needed in some games, you know, for instance, Star Wars, Star Wars Battlefront, I kind of feel could have had some sort of story mode involved in it, even though you kind of have, you kind of have, you kind of know, not kind of have, but you kind of know, you pretty much know if you've seen the original trilogy, you kind of know what the story is going to be, but I still think it could, they could have added like maybe some sort of spin-off story or whatever. I don't know, something like that. So I think... I think the fact that Star Wars Battlefront was pretty much all multiplayer uh, kind of kind of hurt it because it kind of died off after a few months, if not maybe I'd say about four or five months. It was kind of starting to die off. You know, players could have used that you know that little extra kick to allow them to you know play the game more, play the game more like a story mode. I mean, they had the missions stuff implemented. But I don't know anybody that actually plays the whole missions aspect of the game, honestly. If you do, please let me know in the comments section. Um, if you've played Star Wars Battlefront anyway, and you've played the missions with friends or whatever. I mean, that's kind of like the whole co-op type of game mode to me. But I still think story mode is needed for that type of stuff. What else? Um, yeah, I also think... Uh, what other games? I kind of think 2K17, WWE 2K17, was really affected by not having a story mode, actually. I don't know if I mentioned this in my thoughts on 2K17 video, but the fact that Star Wars Battlefront didn't... Not Star Wars Battlefront, Jesus Christ. The fact that 2K17 did not, and I repeat, did not have a uh, showcase mode, which is basically they take one specific... They take one specific type of... um you know, wrestler or superstar's career, um, and they, like, focus on all the highlight matches that they had, like, for instance, 2K17 had, um, 2K, not 2K17, 2K16 focused on Stone Cold's career, uh, 2K15 focused on rivalries, and 2, 2K14 focused on the biggest matches, some of the biggest matches in WrestleMania history in the 30 years to WrestleMania mode. And by doing and by playing those modes, you not only unlock new superstars, you also unlock new attire. So that kind of gives the game some sort of um. That gives the game some sort of like that gives that mode a reason to play. Because if you want those superstars or those wrestlers, you have to play those modes. And I agree. And I agree with that. I think that is, I think that 2K17 not having any type of story mode really hurt it because. There's really no reason to play much of the other modes because apparently that game is already dead after, I don't know, October, November, December, January, four and a half months, three and a half months, I should say, never mind. But, um, yeah, so that's my, I think, like I said, 2K17 not having any type of story mode or showcase mode hurt it. But um, now we, I think we've got, I think I've covered, you know, the fact that, you know, some games kind of need story mode, like for instance, first person shooters i mean i don't know any any i think any game that's a first person shooter or any shooter should have some sort of story mode no matter how big or small 
Um, I think, of course, the first two games I think of who have campaign modes or Call of Duty and Battlefield. And even other games like, I don't know, Medal of Honor or something. Was, didn't Medal of Honor have a story mode or something? I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. But um, I never played Medal of Honor, so... And any other first-person shooters you guys can think of in the comments section, I might be I might be forgetting any. Um, yeah, so I think qu the quality is especially important if the, a game does have any type of story mode um, or campaign. For instance, I mentioned Black Ops One. Black Ops One's campaign was not only fantastic; it also had that replay ability, like you wanted to play it over again. I personally am playing the campaign on veteran mode because I want the trophies on PS4 or not or PlayStation. I want the trophies that come with it. I actually finished, I don't know if it was a year and a half or so ago, but I actually finished uh, Modern Warfare 3's campaign on veteran, which I love the campaign, but Jesus Christ, playing campaigns on veteran will fucking make you hate that game so much because then you realize how much bullshit there is. But, um, but, uh, yeah, aside from that, like, the story mode in Black Ops 1 that was told... The story that was told in Black Ops 1 was fantastic. Um, Modern Warfare 3, which is the only Modern Warfare campaign I've ever played. Um, even though I pretty much know... I knew the, the whole story afterwards. But, um, I, I enjoyed the Modern Warfare 3 campaign. I just didn't enjoy as much as Black Ops 1. Now, in my sole opinion, I will say this. Call of Duty-wise, Black Ops 2 had the last really good campaign, because... I never played Ghost, and I, I don't know what Infinite Warfare's campaign is like, so... Uh, some people say the Ghost campaign was good, but if the only reason I'm going to buy campaign is for story mode, it's kind of stupid, because, you know, Call of Duty is pretty much a multiplayer game, in my opinion. In their case, I guess story mode kind of takes a back seat, but I still think it's important to have in a game, which is what this whole commentary is about. Um, you know, so yeah... Like, like, Black Ops 2, like, that was the last, you know, really good campaign. Black Ops 3, fucking horrible. Campaign, the entire game was bad, but, in my opinion. But the campaign, oh my god. First of all, I can't recall at any, at least one, I can't recall any instance in Black Ops 3's campaign where, where, um, they mentioned anything from Black Ops 1 or 2. I think the people say Raul Menendez was mentioned, who was in Black Ops 2, but I I didn't catch it. I may have ca I may have caught it, but I don't know off the top of my head. I still think it's bullshit though, because that campaign was it was really bad, dude. It had nothing to do with the original story. Like they could have done something to tie it in, but just mentioning somebody's name really doesn't do anything for me. In my opinion, Black Ops 3's campaign is by far the worst I've played. And, you know, I played Advanced Warfare. I played Advanced Warfare's campaign. I liked Advanced Warfare's campaign. It's just, eh, it doesn't have that replay. It doesn't have that, doesn't make you want to play it over again. Like, you play it once, and you're like, okay, as usual, the bad guys win, and the good, uh, the bad guys win. The good guys win, and the bad guys, you know, either die or get captured or something. I don't know. So, Yeah. So yeah, that it didn't have that replayability for me. It didn't have that replay factor. It was okay, wasn't wasn't bad, but it was just eh, it was it was just okay, you know. I still think, you know, Black Ops One is by far the best campaign I've played, um, Call of Duty wise. Now I've only played two Battlefield campaigns. I can't attest to. I can't say how m other games. Well, I can't say how many other Battlefield games have had great campaigns because I've never seen them. The only campaigns for Battlefield I've seen are Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 1. I will say Battlefield 4's campaign was actually... I enjoyed it. I know a couple of my friends that played Battlefield 4's campaign. I thought it was alright. Didn't think it was anything special. I thought it was pretty decent. Like I said, it was it was good. Nothing really like special about it. I mean, I had to play the camp the first half of the campaign like five times because the game every time the game fucking crashed, I had to restart my campaign over, which kind of sucked for me. So I I'm, I must have played Baku, um, Shanghai, South China Sea, whatever missions that before the that mission that starts with a T. I don't know. I don't know the name of it. It's like Sargar or something like that. Whatever. Before that mission, I must have played that those missions before the Sargar 
Um, I think that's how I think that's how you say it. At least five times. No more than that. Battlefield One's campaign was okay. I thought it was actually kind of easy. I thought it was too easy actually. There were there are some difficult aspects, but there's no. I thought it was just too easy, man. I, I mean, I finished that campaign in maybe three days flat. Uh, I like the I like that it talks about different aspects of World War One, but you know, t in terms like I said, in terms of replayability, uh, Battlefield Four. I've already replayed the first half like ten times, so fuck that. Don't count. Don't even make me do that. And Battlefield One, eh, I finished it. I wouldn't want to play it again, it, even though it was it was good. Anyway, what do you guys think about single player type game modes? You know, what do you guys think? You think they help the game? Do you think they hurt the game? Let me know what you think in the comments section. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will see all of you guys on the next one. Have a great day.